Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Dean's Hobby Stop in Owasso, Michigan. Dean's has one of the Midwest's largest selections of used kits at great prices. They also feature new kits and supplies as well. Call Dean's to get their mail order list featuring hundreds of vintage kits or check their website for great deals on both new and classic models. In this scale modeling methods tutorial, we'll explain the importance and the process of using a test mule before you put that contest model on the table. In many industries, uh, like this automotive example, it, this is known as a test mule. They're used to work out the mechanics of a new design and disguise them from the paparazzi. But in the modeling hobby, this is what we're talking about. It's not some obscure camouflage scheme. It's just an old aircraft kit that had some parts removed for other builds. But instead of throwing the kit in the parts box or away, I decided to put the bigger parts together with some thin glue and use it to experiment on and test out some new processes. Well, that's uh, Newt tapping on the glass behind the divider there. He's our program director and he's got, uh, looks like a question. Come on in here, Newt. What is it? This looks like one of those super secret projects from the Skunk Works. Oh, that's an, a modeling version of an experimental aircraft, Newt. Now, here's an example where I had some uh, new masking tape, and I wanted to make sure that it had uh, good uh, coverage ability, uh, didn't allow too much seepage, and wouldn't leave a lot of residue. So I tried that out on the, on the cockpit there, and I also had some primers that I wanted to check out, different shades, uh, to see how they would uh, react with um, the uh, top coat. On aircraft models like this, you can uh, see how much retarder that you need to use in your paint comfortably uh, to, uh, to brush it on uh, and not leave brush marks. And uh, you can practice your freehand camo painting or make sure that the airbrush is set properly. Um, it can be used for testing chipping techniques like this, uh, any, any manner of things that uh, would go along with aircraft building. You see an example here where I'm testing out smoke stains. You can also look at uh, putting burn marks to make sure your paint's thin enough so it looks real. And you have to make sure that the black is glossy enough for, for the hot rod you're working on. Uh, you know, the finishes uh, apply to whatever kind of modeling you're doing. So make sure the paints work together with primer and paint. And also, uh, you need to also check out sometimes your clear coat to make sure it doesn't react with the decals, setting solutions, or the paint underneath. Here's an example of some speckling applied uh, uh, with a brush. Uh, and you want to make sure that splatters look right on your, on your 4x4 or your, um, your military uh, model. And test your masking fluids too uh, and clear parts uh, for buffing tools and compounds that uh, may affect your build. Some of the hardest paint schemes involve metallic paints or even things like bare aluminum on uh, aircraft. And so in order to get that to look right, you can practice that and you can, um, you know, put some dirt on the side uh, to make it look more realistic to give it that uh, battle hardened appearance. Well, there you have it. Having a test mule to try things out will keep you from messing up the model you're working on and get that thing on the shelf. Now, you can use any partial or broken kit for testing. It will help you perfect the process or take the mystery out of trying something new. Now it's time for me to put this one in the stripping methods that I'm going to use. And uh, that's a test just, just the same. So, there's always something new to try. So get an experimental kit and drive that test mule. Thanks for watching this scale modeling methods tutorial. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the lower right of any of our videos. Or you can find us on Facebook or our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.